What's going on guys, it's Tanito, and today's video features tips for customizing your Xbox controller. I do get a ton of questions asking where I got my controller from, how did I make it purple, and asking if it's a skin. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I personally did my controller and how you guys can explore the different options on how to do yours. This by any means is not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do everything, but more like a guide to help you decide your options for customizing. If you need step-by-step -step instructions, I'll gladly leave links down below or you can simply search them up on your own. The video footage I'll be showing you today is just the process of transforming the plain Elite controller to a customized purple one. With all that being said, now let's talk about your options on customizing your Xbox controller. There are two main options to consider, being under warranty or not being under warranty. If you are currently under warranty, you probably shouldn't be taking apart your Xbox controller because that will void your warranty and if you break it, you can't get your controller replaced or fixed for free. Since you're currently under warranty and you can't open up your controller, the first option to customize your controller is to buy scuff, grips, and thumbsticks if you have an Elite controller. These are what I personally use and I love them. I got them because I wanted a specific color scheme for my controller. If you do not have an Elite controller, you can buy regular scuff grips that come with adjustable trigger locks. If you have a regular Xbox controller, there are plenty third-party sellers that sell custom thumb caps to put on top of your thumbsticks. If you're looking to change the color of the Xbox controller faceplate under warranty, my only advice is to buy a skin. The last advice I have to customize your Xbox controller that doesn't void your warranty is to use nail polish to paint your D-pad or paddles on the back of your Elite controller. Or, if you specifically only want to customize the paddles, there are separate paddle kits that you can buy from different stores. So, if you're not under warranty, you're freely able to take apart your controller however you please. So, right now I'm showing you how I switched out my bumpers, shell, triggers, and I took out the vibrations in my controller to make it more light. So, right after you take off the grips, all you have to do is unscrew five screws on the back of the controller, and then you can take off the faceplate. Once you take off the faceplate, then I took off the bumper. The bumper takes a lot of force and pressure to take off, but I'm pretty sure it won't break, I hope. Once I took off the faceplate, I moved on to the triggers. There's two screws in each trigger that you have to use. Um, it requires a special kind of screwdriver too. Once I took out the gray triggers, I actually took out the vibrators inside the triggers. So now my controller never even vibrates, even when I accept like party invites or anything. It just doesn't vibrate at all. Once I took out the trigger vibrators, I took my black triggers and then screwed them back in. Once that was done, I put in black bumpers and a purple faceplate and screwed everything back in. I do want to give a warning if you're going to be customizing your Elite controller shell that there's going to be limited options. And what I mean by that is there's not going to be a lot of designs or colors that third parties make for the Elite controller. So you might want to Google or search up on Amazon regular Xbox controller shells I can tell you from experience that regular Xbox controller shells do fit on Elite controller's body. So as you can see, my purple controller has no switch in the middle of it for the profiles. That's because you have to take it off if you're going to be putting a default controller shell on top of it. So there you have it. That's how I customized my controller. I hope this video helped you in some sort of direction in what you guys want to do with your controller. I know probably most of you have new Elite controllers, so you're not going to be opening it up. So there's a lot of third-party options that you can do to customize the outside looks of your controller. So yeah, hope that helps.